Hey guys, it's uh, Mason here with Teen Tuesday. As you can see, I got a haircut. You know, it was that time and I needed it really, really badly. So, um, no, but this week I, I want to talk about something that's a little bit more, um, I don't know, it, it, to teenagers it's, gonna, it's just really going to hit home. Because for me, growing up, I was, um, I, I felt like nobody that I looked up to ever failed. I, I, it, it made me feel like, was there something so wrong with me that I sinned? I felt like I fell in the same sin over and over and over again. And I know, just talking with teenagers over the years, I know that I've seen that they almost feel the same way. And so the question is, is how do you defeat sin? And, you know, I want to go ahead and start off with an encouragement to our teenagers and to adults. I think this applies to both. But I want to, I want to start off with, it's okay. Like, it's okay. You're going to struggle with sin. I think about Paul all the time and the fact that he says, I do the things I don't want to do and I don't do the things I should be doing. And I think about that and, I th- and, then, and then I even go further and, I'm, and I want to talk to, directly to the teenagers. Your parents fail. Your, your grandparents fail. Your pastor and your youth pastor, they fail. They will fail until the Lord comes back, until we are in our glorified body. As a matter of fact, and if you feel that way and you feel that as though that they don't, I want to tell you that First John tells them that if they claim they don't sin, they make God a liar. And so we sit there and now we know, okay, all men and all women are on equal playing fields. They all fail. So now the question is this, how do kids, teenagers, and adults deal with temptation and deal with sin? How do we overcome these things? And I want to go ahead and just read Romans 8. Romans 8. Uh, there's a few verses that I really want to point out to. It's Romans 8, 6 through 13. It says this, for the mind is set on the flesh, for the mind set on the flesh is death, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace, because the mind set on the flesh is hostile towards God, for it does not subject itself to the law of God for it is not even able to do so. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. I don't want to stop there. Listen, there's no way that you will ever please God if you are living in the flesh. There's no way that you will ever succeed in defeating temptation if you are living in the flesh. And then he goes on, he says, However, you are not in the flesh but in the spirit. If you are truly a follower of Christ, you are not in the flesh, you are in the spirit. And then he goes on, Uh, If indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you, but if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, he does not belong to him. If Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, yet the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. righteousness. But if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his Spirit who dwells in you. So then, brethren, we are under obligation, not to the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you are living according to the flesh, you must die. But if the spirit, but if by the spirit you are putting to death the deeds of the body, you will live. So how do I overcome temptation? How do I overcome sin? It's it's a it's a Bible answer, but it's the truth. It's to live in the spirit. It's to wake up every single day knowing that Jesus died for your sin. That he that as we as we talked about last week that he restores mercy every morning, his mercy is new every morning, and it's to it's to know that if I live through Christ and I live through the Spirit, that then I can overcome temptation. You know we've been sitting here talking about every Sunday Jesus is, uh, um, Chris has been going through uh, Matthew and talking about the the tribulation and the great tribulation that's coming. Jesus is victorious. He's going to win in the end. And so now we have to understand that if we live through that, knowing that Jesus will conquer all, and that he is King of kings and Lord of lords, that he will and can overcome the sin and the temptation in your life. This is Teen Tuesday. Have a great rest of the week.